I have cut him off. I have blocked everything. My family actually warned him that if he would try to contact me, they would go to the authorities. And so I have blocked him totally. And for at least seven years, Omar Mateen's ex-wife, Satoria Safi, says they had absolutely no contact. But once Mateen was identified as the shooter in Sunday morning's massacre, Yusufi was thrusted into the spotlight where she spoke about the nature of their relationship. In the beginning, he was a normal being that cared about family, loved to joke, loved to have fun. But then a few months after we were married, I saw his instability and I saw that he was bipolar and he would get mad out of nowhere. That's when I started worrying about my safety and... Then after a few months, he started abusing me physically very often and uh, not allowing me to speak to my family, keeping me hostage from them. And I tried to see the good in him even then, but my family was very tuned into what I was going through and decided to visit me and rescue me out of that situation. Yusefi says as far as she knew, her ex-husband always owned a gun and wanted to be a police officer. He wanted to be a police officer. So he trained with his friends who were police officers and he had a license to have a gun in Florida. You're allowed to do that. Um, so he didn't practice anything in front of me, but I'm sure he went to shooting ranges. He worked as a, a correctional officer or something at, the, at a juvenile delinquent center. So he was working up and gaining experience to become uh, an officer. Making news of the deadly mass shooting even more shocking. I was devastated, shocked, started shaking and crying because more than anything, I was so, so deeply hurt and heartbroken for the people that lost their loved ones, and the families that are now suffering, the people that are being, that are wounded, that, that are healing. And it's everything that I stand for to not have that. And tonight we are still digging to get more information on the type of life that Omar Mateen lived. As soon as we get more information, we'll pass it along to you on air and online at WESH.com. Live in the breaking news center, Summer Knowles, WESH 2 News. Guys? All right, Summer, thank you for that update. And we come